So when Actually, we last gonna... played about um, a month ago, two months ago, two three months, months ago, ago. Yep. something like that. Wow. We, were, <laughs> we were finishing Previous life. Uh, the basically exploring the temple and dealing with the bad guys inside. Um, we had gotten to the point where you guys uh, met the last, the second sphinx. You answered the riddles of the second sphinx and successfully got the second half of the the ward key. Um, after that, you guys decided to hightail it directly to the door and skip the rest of the dungeon out of fear and loathing for mummies. <laughs> um, then you opened up the door and entered the Hall of Confusion and found out very clearly why it was called the Hall of Confusion. Mm -hmm. Because it switched your minds or your bodies, depending on how you look at it. And the next couple of well, hours game time, I think, was walking, or out of game time, was walking through like five rooms as each other, trying to figure out how to handle your lives now. Yep. Um, you fought a cloaker, um, you fought some skeletal constructs, uh, helm tours, um, and you then took ages to try to figure out how to get through the altar. Uh, a secret passage that made you follow some um, <laughs> magical ritual to take it a while. that took a very long time because you had to align the objects and then perform the ritual correctly, turning out the lights magically, things like that. You finally got through that and then you walked into the uh, basically the high priest uh, chamber, which was basically a combo altar worship area slash torture room slash bedroom. Um, so that was a really nice place. And the mummy came out, it was like a greater mummy thing, and high priest mummy or whatever, and uh, proceeded to get roughed up very fast, but it also did a, a decent amount of damage to Kabar in that short period of time, so it turned out to be a fairly quick fight. Um, after that, you walked into the next room where there was a skeleton beating down a door, it looks like he had been there for hundreds of years, just breaking himself apart trying to get into a door. Um, you ignored him, went to the treasury room, grabbed a bunch of loot, um, then Kavar decided to kill the, or demolish the skeleton and open the door, which um, Renleth was not so sure about, but he went ahead and did it and it turned out to be okay. <laughs> Inside there was a, a, basically a stasis old elf um, who'd just been laying there for who knows how long, and a magic sword that was protecting it. Uh, and then you heard basically a voice that explained what was going on, and you took the sword and you reanimated the elf, and then you had a long discussion after casting the tongue spell that you found inside the room. Yeah. Truth Seeker Sword, that's the name of that sword? Uh, I think so. Or is that Truth Seeker a different No, sword? no, Truth Seeker is the, the it's the, uh, it's one of the, like, the, it's the god names for the so, god. Uh, Follows. Okay, so we don't know anything about the sword except that it had something to do with the Truth Seeker. Yeah. That's why it's written. The down. Truth Seeker is like one of the, okay. the names for the god that uh, um, Seeker okay. follows. Because I have Sword of Truth Seeker. Yes. Okay. That's all we know about the sword. That's why Pretty I have much. that written down. You guys, okay. grabbed <laughs> a bunch of, you guys grabbed a bunch of magical items that you haven't identified in any okay. form or fashion yet. Yeah. Um, so then you talked to this elf for a while and found out a little bit about ancient times and how he's very confused about what's going on and he thought Terrison was going to kill you all and um, how he hates all of you mm -hmm. and doesn't think any of you are real and things like that. And um, So you're not really sure what to do and you're kind of thinking, well, maybe we should have just put him back to sleep and rather than waking him up. But mm -hmm. I think you're just hoping that maybe he'll become useful and find give you some useful information. Um, and then you decided, I said we just let him loose in the world, rather quickly to go back upstairs outside and leave the place behind because you never want to see it again. And uh, now you're hanging out, waiting for your uh, support to come because uh, you con you had contacted Silver and he was supposedly sending his friend Jonathan. There we go. <laughs> I'll write that down. Silver friend. 
So you're not really sure how long it's going to take him to get here. Um, so you've got to decide if you're just going to sit out and wait or try to travel back and hope you find him on the way. Yeah. Did we get a name for the ancient elf guy? Yes, you did. Yeah. His name is Estricar. I did not write that down. <laughs> That's not been important to me. I guess not. I didn't write it down either. Estricar? Yeah. So to recap, because it's also been a long time and I don't know what your notes were like, uh, I guess I can recap a little bit of your conversation with him. Because he did provide some moderately useful, potentially useful information. So he kind of told you about how he got there and how he was basically a spy. And he was uh, an infiltrator. An infiltrator, I think, is the, the phrase he used, or the word he used. And he was basically trying to figure out how Terrison managed to grab all these different races together, bring them together, and get him them doing his will. Because um, evidently, he's described that there was some massive war going on where elves and humans were in a constant <laughs> war trying to kill each other. Because the conspirators they have... stole a black flag in the east. What's that? That's all I have. Oh. <laughs> Um, we know that right now from everything he told us. And uh, so then once he was there and Terrison was like trying to be all nice and get them to build a temple and like provide them with this great place away from the war and everything, um, he then slowly had all his actual higher priests uh, gather all the followers together after the temple was built and he sacrificed them all to infuse this magical jewel with uh, basically the souls of the dead to give him even more power, and uh, then right after this jewel was created, uh, six of the people that were still alive stole it and ran off to the east, and uh, that's about all Estricar knew, because not long after that he was discovered, as basically they thought he was an accomplice, and uh, they realized he was a spy, and uh, they were going to mummify him, and... Um, that's about when all the other things went down and he got stuck in that stasis state. And he doesn't really know what happened after that. But he did point out names that were on the little altar thing where the, he says the jewel was created. Um, and there were some that were unscratched. And the only names that were not scratched out were his and the six names on that that he said were the defectors. Even the names of, like, the mummy that you fought was still scratched out. How long do you think we should wait here? Wait, did we just wake up after sleeping overnight? Oh, did we? We took a long rest? Yeah, you were supposed to be taking a long rest while I was recapping, so uh, we will do an eight-hour rest where you guys basically spend most of the day sleeping in in your little shelter with your horses. Yeah. Um, I needed that. The desert's pretty empty, so you're not really disturbed by anything. Um, you do kind of get feelings of just foreboding from below you, just like, but they don't like disturb your sleep too much. Just there's like hints of nightmares in your sleep about what's below. Yeah. I'm going to be kind of keeping an eye on the elf. Okay. Is he sleeping as well? Or is he, he's pretty much up, right? Is he he's still up. with us? We yes. lose him already? <laughs> he's still with her. <laughs> you want him not sleeping. Okay. Even when you're, when you wake up, you lose One eye open. <laughs> Did we pull shifts overnight? To babysit him? I mean, I only slept for Because he doesn't but... sleep all night. I know the feeling. I think you two should definitely babysit him. Okay. We'll wake you up in 12 hours. <laughs> Thank you. I should be ready by then. Three of those hours are coming. Alright. Uh, Alright, so now that we woke up, we're up. I look around, is there a druid? No, there is no druid. Mm -hmm. Wait. I look around. Is there a druid? <laughs> I look up. <laughs> ah, least expected. There is no druid. He's on top of the obelisk. Any animals that are there and staring at us like it's a druid? Like where does lemur come from? No, there's oh. other than the horses. It's it's pretty empty. There's some insects around. But um, that's about it. How are the horses looking? Not that Joe cares, I care. Um, <laughs> they are... They're okay. okay. Um, Kabar's horse recovered fairly well after you guys tended to it. The other horses, they're, they're kind of... You can tell they're getting hungry. Hmm. 
Um, because you guys are out of feet, I believe. Are we? <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> Am I still tracking the cart? Can they eat good berries? But luckily you guys had a ton of water, so... They're still okay there. They're all one. One! We're actually 12. I, still have, I didn't track the, so... I, mean, I don't know. I was just tracking the rations that I had on me. I don't have any rations. Is this like a dunes? Type of desert here at, at this area, or is this more of a flat? You're you're, you're kind of out of the dunes that you had passed through. Uh, this is fairly flat right here. Okay. Is there a, a mountain range? The mountain close range, by, the mountain or is range is to the east, and it's a couple days. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Right in the middle, and we're right in the middle of that. Uh, right in the middle of the desert of damnation. Yep. Just where we want to be. And uh, Jonathan is supposed to be coming up on the dragon. Is that right? I don't know how he's, he's coming. He's coming. You don't know how he's coming. You don't know when he's coming. Did we tell him where we were? Uh, <laughs> he knows. He knows where you guys are. Yeah. He talked to Silver. He's been. They've both been here before. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's what I mean. But so he knows where we are here. Yes. <sighs> how far? Are we, how long did it take us to get here from the Silver's castle? I think it was like a week, maybe a little longer. And it's been now two days since the message was sent. Or thereabouts. Uh, after you guys sleep, yeah, it'll be two days since you guys just slept. Well, we can't hang out here because we're running out of food and water. We'll eventually run out of water. Is there this to the west? It looks like Shoal Sholvenet. Is that right? Sholvenet. Sashin's Folly. Hartmer. To the south. Joel, are those do you know, like a day, do you day's ride or something? Do you know how long um, until the next full moon? No. Those are like. Is that in your skill set? I mean. By horse. If we wait now, we can look up. In the desert. The closest one is probably Joel really Fanat. That means, though. Oh, I gotcha. That is gonna still be. <clears throat> well, probably a couple Generally, of days. it's a 30 day cycle, right? Let's see. Or a 20 day cycle. If one of us, so yeah, just a single one of us, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I usually sleep. Attempted to go to one of these places yeah, on horseback. Like, <laughs> I think I know how to do Pretty this. Pretty sure you um, know, between being a you know, light, and light a ranger. ranger. Yeah. <laughs> Lightly burned. You know, I've never looked up before. <laughs> Could he, someone get there faster? Uh, see, the problem is we horses through though. desert. Not the greatest thing. It's been a week, right? Um, okay. Unless those were permanent werewolves. The, then could be, the then biggest be problem is finding your way and getting through the desert. Uh, this this would be a little bit better because you don't have to go through the mountains. The mountains what's really slowed you down, right? Um, but I can find food. In the so one person probably could get there a little bit quicker, but it would be probably pretty dangerous at the same time. Mm. We should probably just go back to Ketlin's Keep. Okay. Turn ourselves in. We're done, guys. This is over. Turn yourselves in. Like, you remember us? Like we're evil or something? Um. So, how much time uh, do I have before the werewolf? I just I... conferred with Joe, and by his lunar calculations that he does, he, he thinks we have another three weeks. Mm -hmm. Two and a half to three weeks, I imagine, before yeah. we need to start worrying about you. At the most. I see. Or two days. So, last <laughs> night... Which... Um, oh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Dang it, my moon mod's gone. <laughs> it's been a week, right? Since he was bit? Roughly? No. It's been longer than a week? Jesus, how long have we been here? <laughs> well, we're only at the... Let me look at that bike. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. It is, it it is horribly uh, infected. You still have to wash it, man. He was infected <laughs> is that what that two was? weeks ago. He so also has gangrene. He was infected on the 12th. Oh my gosh. It's... How long have we been in this temple? Oh shit. That's how are the horses still alive? 
I say to myself and not aloud in front of the DM. <laughs> is today the 23rd-ish? Uh, today is... Actually, I think... Hold on. No, the, today is now the 24th. Because I didn't change the date when you guys slept. <clears throat> so, um... So it's been two weeks. So I estimate about two weeks. Is that a good estimation for a ranger wood elf? Yeah. In my knowledge of... Yeah. All things lunar. Yeah. So you're going to go loony in two weeks. Loony. Which it took you... That could be two yeah. weeks to get here. So you might make it back. Because, I mean, you did spend some time actually in the temple, not just traveling. So you might make it back. Mm -hmm. But then... It'll be close. Who's going to be there to help you? Right. Our best bet, I think, is to wait. As, right. as boring as that's going to be. To wait right here? Who should invite? Wait? Who else do you know? I don't know anyone else. <laughs> Shh, don't Everybody panic. I <laughs> don't think I really want to go answer the door to random people. What did you order from Amazon? The window is open. Oh, I did order something from Amazon. <laughs> you can hear us talk. Hurry up, because he's going to leave. But it's super small. They don't leave stuff at your door? Yeah, they do. Sounds like... Yeah, sounds like... Oh, fo 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 You're so right. Nice. It's my Amazon order. Can I try to find food? Yay, I got a new screen protector. Oh, nice. Yeah, my wife and I both need a new screen protector. My screen protector doesn't fit on my phone correctly. Mmm. And it's getting dust underneath it. Alright, how about this? I'll try to find some food. You know, like scorpions or something. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. There's gotta be something, because I keep getting attacked by stuff, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Could go back to the money. Yeah, like jerky. Yeah, it's probably pretty jerky. Remember, it smelled like spices in there. Wait, what were those creatures in the? In that first, no, they they've been there for a very long time. Those creatures in the first chapel. That like oh, what's his name's crew killed. That's right. We're not eating those, Kabar. Oh. Wait, don't you have purified food and drink? I have a ton of rations. No, I can just make it taste better. Oh. Uh, let's actually let's see what I have in this spell book. If only one of us could magically poop out berries that satiated everyone in this group. Mm, no. Who's made, made fun of my berries? Those cheese puffs are really weird. I think I like them. I'm not sure. <laughs> they, they do have a tomato taste to them. I'm going to hunt for food. Okay. Because I went so well the first time. Did it? Rachel Cho has a very short memory. It went okay. That's problematic for someone who lives for hundreds of years. <laughs> you know, I used to be a wizard. <laughs> and before that, I was a barbarian. Got to level 20 both times. And then forgot about it. Okay, I forgot everything. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I find it. 207 to the nearest source of food or packs we can start boiling down all these boots that we have probably like a soup out of it as far as I know we're okay on rations um, I don't have any I honestly don't know that's okay I'm not very hungry okay <laughs> So I have, still have plenty of wine left. And you know what they say, booze is good food. True, true. So you, you have that great axe, that gnarly looking great axe on your inventory, right, Chris? Uh, yeah, I just haven't uh, copied it down. I thought I did, but I can't find it. Gnarly axe. And just say heavy metal axe. The spiky one, right? Hey, what's that flamboyant robe you've got going on over there? <laughs> what? 
Where you see that? Right in the middle. Oh, you know, just in case. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call over Estra Car. Okay. We can't speak anymore, I imagine. Not really. Does he know Thief can't? He just kind of looks at you. Learn our language. <laughs> what language are you speaking? Uh, elf. Okay, elfy. Elf talk. <clears throat> kind of stares at you. And then Kabar, you pick up that he says, I don't understand you. <laughs> through your helm. He said that he doesn't understand us. Okay. What, what are you trying to ask him? It's an international symbol for food. And he says, why don't you do what you did the first time so we can talk? Because I don't have that anymore. I just shake my head at him. Why don't you do it, asshole? <clears throat> The one word that translates <laughs> to survive thousands of years. And you said it. You are the bullshit. What do you what do you want to ask him, Renlith? I was hoping that he could tell us more about his time. What the day to day what the plan was on. Oops. Dealing with Terrasin and see if that can illuminate us. So I could try. You yeah. no. uh, I mean, I could try communicating to him through picture. I don't know how to do communicate that concept. Well, we have time if you'd like to try. And he kind of looks like he has a. a, a uh, recognition on his face, and he kind of points below and says, "Yes, Terrison." Good. I guess I draw that little symbol, his symbol, the three circles, and um, I'm kind of gesturing for him to expand a little bit because I can hear what he says, right? Yeah. So I'm relaying that information to Renlith. So he, he takes your parchment and he rips it. He drops it. Oh, damn it, dude. Parchment's expensive. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> He's just being a dick. <laughs> Go figure. No connection. What is. He says that's an evil symbol. <laughs> I know. I'm, yes. Just, <laughs> drawing the Nazi symbol all over the place. <laughs> swastika. That's what people say. Normally. Swastika. Um. <laughs> huh. These alcohol things are so sad. Hey, what's the. Do I get an advantage on. or anything for finding food? Um. I can't download right now, but. I don't think you get advantage or anything. The natural explorer. You just get. Oh, it's the same thing as uh, the regular one. Oh, okay. It just applies to everything. Um, look at that there. I'm gonna draw like it's a more of a speed thing then. A crude map, um, as well as the. You can the, find twice as much food as you normally would. So if you find zero, zero you would have a map on our in our inventory of the. Who has it? I thought he had it. Well, we have it. it it's we, just kind of we passed around. around. Oh, but you haven't left yet. No, I'm sorry. Okay, so I grabbed I'm trying to think whether or not I'm good at finding food at the moment. Yeah, I'm going to show him the map and try and draw the jewel, I guess, or the concept of a jewel. Okay. The, with the souls and stuff. And I'm trying to ask him where he thinks it is. <clears throat> okay, give me a uh, painting check. Intelligence. I'm going to sneak back into the temple, and bring up wood and build the fireplace. Cool. Uh, plus proficiency, is that right? Because if we're going to hang out, it's going to get nighttime. There was some old wood, yes. Okay, 16. 16. That's like one of the best rolls you've done for painting. I think so. Yeah. You're getting a lot better. <clears throat> so he kind of uh, nods and like he thinks he understands what you're saying and finally says, this is not the map I know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to motion... I'm going to hand it to him to ask, 
him to I forgot I alter it three on my back to what he knows. Damn. Basically, what he does is uh, he basically just draws every like the forest is still there, the mountains next to the forest are still there, but everything looks like it's just a lot closer together. I see. And all the basically the the left side of the continent completely gone. Anything past the the mount, mouth of death mountains doesn't even doesn't know anything about those. Um, so basically, it's like this this desert. It's supposed to be like looks like days away rather than uh, like weeks, and it says it should all be like more compact. So it's like a Pangea type situation. Not exactly, because it's not it's not like the continents broke apart. It's just like where he where he thinks things should be, they should be a lot closer. Mm -hmm. So kind of, I guess you could say in that regards, as if they floated apart, but instead of being islands, they're just like the land itself expanded. Interesting. I'm going to do a survival check to find food. Yes. And he says probably somewhere to the east. He doesn't really know. Can you draw him a picture of food? And then sure. he says, then he says after that, 21. <sighs> He's not even sure why or where it could be at this time. If, if as much time has passed as you say it has, then it could be anywhere. Okay. All right. Um, then he looks back to Renleth and basically starts complaining about the fact that he has to talk to his slave. I clench my fists very tightly. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> You're the slave now. <laughs> and then I point to the picture of food that Kabar drew. Okay, uh, yes, I draw <laughs> potatoes. Because <laughs> that is all I can draw and think about. They just look like rocks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, my paintings, I'm getting better, okay? They're not just uh, potatoes. <laughs> Like, with you no, draw a potato right now. What does it look, look like? You want me to draw? Okay, wait, hold on. It looks like a rock. <laughs> with no frame of reference. <laughs> like, do you know what a potato plant looks like? They had potatoes back then, right? It's like you point at it and be like, do you know where the rocks are? <laughs> and he spends his only spell of the day to produce a rock. <laughs> it's a big rock. You're like, wow, that could have been a So <laughs> <laughs> steaming. That's actually a pretty good potato, but looks like a cookie to me. Oh, I could deal with the cookie, though. So if I had no frame of reference, what would I try to think that is? <laughs> this should be funny. <laughs> a plate? Stink lines, though. You know, it's like... <laughs> the stink lines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, stink lines are ageless, okay? They've existed for millennia. That's a 21 on survival. 21 on survival. Okay, you managed to find some... Uh, scorpions this time. Hmm. Hmm. They're fairly large. They might cook up to something. I'm gonna cook them up. It doesn't matter what they taste like. I can fix that. Any baby scorpions or eggs? I'm sorry? Oh god, I should not see that. That's the grossest picture ever. Scrambled scorpions. Wait, 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 baby wait. scorpions or eggs? His all, there's like a dozen or twenty baby <laughs> <There's> scorpions <laughs> and they live so on the many. mother's back. And they're all translucent and nasty. If Renless sees that, he's going to kick it. Oh god. No, he's not. And they'll scatter everywhere. He's going to mage hand it. Yes, I'm going to mage hand. I'm not going to touch it. And they're going to crawl all over his mage hand. And he's going to flip out. Alright, I'm going to try to cook some stuff and make okay. something out of it. Okay. That's, that's the best I got. Let me see what kind of spells he does have. Did I succeed at making fire? Uh, yeah. Fire is not that hard once you go down and find some wood and... During these translations and stuff, is it is it possible to catch some of the words, like the repetitions and... Yes. So it, that is possible. Like, you've picked out that he can understand the Elvish word for terrorism. Um, okay. Because he picked up on that word. So yes, over time you'll be able to pick up words through repetition, like you said. Terrorism, terrorism, terrorism. What about slave? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you'll probably be able to pick up on that one pretty quick. I'm gonna refer to him as slave from now on. Ooh, I like it. So he can't understand you. What if I'm saying it in his language? He's probably just gonna think you're like... You're just a, acknowledging that you're a slave. No, I'm gesturing towards him. He's going to think you're saying, 
you're his slave. Yeah. God, just don't yeah. go that route. Just yeah. imagine the darkest timeline. You're just gonna acknowledge for some asshole. You're just gonna acknowledge that you're his slave. Also, the word is. He's okay with that. The, the word, time, the word is time. literally pork. <laughs> really? I have no idea. Screw this guy. <laughs> Jeff's just being Joe right now. <laughs> I don't know, a mouthful of scorpion. You guys want some? George <laughs> want some? Because I'm a ranger, I found twice as much as I would have found anyway. Mm. Just an arm no. full of live scorpions. Thank you. Guys. I'm, I, I'm okay. Okay. Yes. I could eat. It's like, I think it tastes like lobster. I think that's what people generally say. I'll give it a shot. Just because it's in a shell. I want to, are we preparing them? Removing the venom, venom sack? Yeah, I'm a ranger, yo. That's part of the uh, thrill. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like puffer fish, you know. <laughs> maybe you'll die. It's like a. <laughs> it's not even a good fish. Sprinkle it on. Die. Sprinkle it on like hot you, sauce. You take the venom and you dilute it and you put it in your alcohol a little bit. It mm. gives a little kick. Mm. And if we do this every day for a month, we'll be immune to it. I mean, there's a chance you're going to get like sick, bullets. but otherwise it's going to have a little extra <clears throat> kick to it. What we could also do. Is like drinking snake venom. Travel to Ketlin, not Ketlin, Kate, um, Castle Stairs, and um, hopefully we get there in two weeks, and then we can lock Kabar in there overnight on the full moon, like in the, you know, like in the, in a cell. No offense. I'd rather not. Just for the one night that you turn into a mindless monster, and then, and then the next day we can we then we have four weeks to make it to a place where we could save them if we need to do that. I was or, this what I'm thinking is, do you recall in the first room that had the the, the caltrips and that box of bad 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 stuff? Well, only one of those doors stays open at a time, depending on the trigger that we did. Oh, so if okay, we can okay. clear the caltrips out of that room. Maybe if push comes to shove, we can have Kabar, of, if he's okay with it, go in there, and we can essentially lock him in. Do we have enough water for the next two weeks? Two weeks? I mean, I do. Not likely. You do? I don't drink a lot. I mean, we get like a big-ass <laughs> barrel. You got a big barrel. I mean, it's not going to last forever, though. You got a big barrel, but... This guy keeps taking hot showers. Weeks. I think you had like three weeks worth of water. I need to keep my feet clean. <laughs> <laughs> He's like taking showers and stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> Friendless, I, I I like your idea. I, I'd rather stay here and run out of water. We'll just we'll ration it. Well, and and who knows if our horses are gonna make. How many we'll experience points do we get for killing the horses? Because if I level up one more time, I can go back to having good berries. Negative 20 oh for each. We have undead horses. And experience points. I think they'd just be regular dead. Everything comes back. We didn't turn that off, did we? Do we have to kill them in the temple? No. Oh, that's right. Oh my god. Did if anybody gets a rash, I do have some dust of dryness. It might help. I could. I might need that. We're in the desert of dust. <laughs> desert. Dust. <laughs> Everything's dust. If you're if you're sweating down there, Kabar, stop it. That's a waste of water. <laughs> you want me to wring it out for you? Or? Yes. And then help purify food and drink. I can't do that. No, I can make through poison. charcoal. You blow up some water. Try get a charcoal. Turn that charcoal into a filter. Why would you say I'm going to do it? I can make poison taste better. Because <laughs> you have a fireball. I can't make fire. I say next to our fire. <laughs> can't fire. Would it be... Could we conserve the water better if we stayed in the temple where it would be cooler and out of sunlight? I'm going to pee into a bowl. Put a sheet of plastic over that bowl. I'm sorry. I've got... I do have a question. Uh... Is there any wind, or is it staying? There is wind. There is? There is wind. Uh, I'm going to control it to some extent, just so that it's um, Storm sorcerer. somewhat constant. Uh, and you know, if it kicks up too much dust, then I'll just make my little safe zone, and people can come into my 
personal space if they need to. <laughs> but I'm just trying to A, keep things cooler, B, expend even less energy than I normally do, if possible. I don't know if that's possible. You guys man. are sleeping during the day, so in your little makeshift lean-to with your horses um, during the day, it's not too terribly bad. Um, and in the night, it gets cool again, so or cold. So yeah. um, as long as you're not moving around too much during the day, you can conserve your energy fairly well, as long as another dust storm doesn't come. Ranger Joe is doing the math. If I kill the horse, would I be able to jerky the meat? You would, but... You're really, we, um, we're good on food. I don't think you just really we, want to kill the horse. It, it depends Remember, on how... Remember, Kabar has a whole bunch of rations. I have, I have like, a backpack full. I mean, it depends on how long you guys are staying here, if you'll be able to jerky the meat, or if you'll just slice it up and get some horse steaks. Sure. sure. So, let's, let's discuss. How long do we wait for Jonathan? <laughs> That's the sound of scorpion. <laughs> Go back into the fucking <laughs> nauseous. Uh, <laughs> do we do we know how Jonathan's getting here? No, no. Mm-mm. Hopefully, it's fast. Supposedly, he's coming. That's all you know. Well, I mean, I trust Silvra. I say to be true to his word. Yeah, nothing else. Like that's the one thing, right? And and I don't have any reason to be fearful of. Some goody two shoes druid. And in theory, we're pretty safe here. Except for the fact it's a desert of death. Sure. Like, I mean, it's just desert of damnation. I don't know, the map I saw said death. This one says damnation. I think this is the British version. I think we should, I think we should wait. <laughs> I think we should wait until we have about three to four days of water left. And if it gets to that point, we should head to the nearest um, town to resupply. Are we sleeping outside because we're scared of the temple? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, we, no one's we, admitting it, but. We can go into the temple during the day to. Or, I don't know. No. If it gets too cold, we can go in, but I don't, okay. don't want to go in there. Okay. I don't mind harvesting wood there. But yeah. I'm okay not yeah. hanging out in there. I think Kibar gets bored. Does she have like a bunch of games? Just practice your arts. All I have is playing cards. Oh, I can't do anything with playing cards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what, how to use them. Aren't you proficient in them? <laughs> oh, it may be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you just come with them. One playing thing. I can't remember if I have dice or cards. Because... It's not something I'm going to do. I'm going to play my bagpipes. Estricar has nothing. I play <laughs> bagpipes. So what do you guys think? Well, okay. I'm going to fly. <laughs> so I take out a piece of... Piece I of only my, know Amazing Grace. <laughs> I take out a piece of my parchment. And I am drawing... Hey, if you see those cars get close, let me know. I'll shoot one now. See who get close? Crows, Crows that I hear off in the distance. It's a mirage. Uh, <laughs> Alright, Ranger Joe's the first one to go crazy. You're already losing it. <laughs> He's hearing the evil beasts coming for him. Also, Kabar, you look like a walking hamburger. <laughs> this is not out of the ordinary. This is nothing, you know, normal. Uh, you always look like a walking hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> he like, starts crying. <laughs> like raw hamburger, like a pile of ground hamburger meat raw. <laughs> ah, so mean. That's mean. Yeah. Sorry, it's the heat of the night. Sure, sure. Also, the scorpion's not sitting that well. <laughs> You're a hamburger. You know, you guys might have been right about taking it out of the shell first. <laughs> I don't think you're a hamburger. At least raw. Maybe you shouldn't have clipped the pinchers to your tongue either. Huh? 
That's <laughs> the style. That's what teenagers are doing. <laughs> so I'm drawing a picture okay, of not fucking potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be good. It's a one. single potato. <laughs> <laughs> I nail it. I, I nail it to this side. Do you want me to roll like a refrigerator? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. To be able to draw this, basically. Oh, like actual food. Yes, food and drink. <laughs> Potatoes are actual food. <laughs> yeah, they, that's pretty obvious. What he means means different types. Is it? Yeah, a whole lot more obvious than a, uh, a steamy, <laughs> steaming rock. <laughs> yes, it is very. We hot didn't here. even get a chance to try it. I just made it, but we didn't. I didn't get to see his reaction. Yeah. Either. Well, let's just pretend Renlith saw it. <laughs> I was like, mm, yeah. it's not about. It's not. It's. It's. What is. What is that subreddit? Horrible idea, but excellent execution. Oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take a piece of wood and I'm gonna practice my knife throwing like a cool kid does when he's bored. Edgy. <laughs> so edgy. Alright, so you draw a picture of food. Mm -hmm. And what do you do with it? I hand it to Estracar and, and uh, ask. Make, the, make it for us. <laughs> Alright, give me uh, an intelligence check. You can actually cast Feast, but we need a thousand gold. <laughs> no problem. No, we're good. Uh, in t in Intel. Eleven. He, he looks at the paper, and he looks at all of you. He, he's, trying to, he's sitting there trying to figure out what exactly you're talk talking about. And... Uh, <laughs> we just ate. <laughs> Orphans. Thankless. Food. 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 Nourishment. You're looking for help, or if I want some of your dead bug. <laughs> I'm, I nod at the first one. Mm hmm. Two words. Mm -hmm. Sounds like he kind of you know, <laughs> yeah. looks at himself, and he kind of shows the fact that all he's doing is wearing clothes and has nothing else on him. He's saying we can dig in his pockets and find it. <clears throat> dig his pockets. It's like I have nothing. He says he cannot help us. Wow. So he's just going to take our food. I show him some of my stuff components. I don't know how to make things like that. I just know how to blow things up, mostly. Like, he's showing him a handful of bat guano. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <It's a sizzle. laughs> After we just talked about food. It's good for the skin. Am I supposed to eat this? <laughs> <laughs> he kind of he kind of nods and uh, looks around and says, uh, basically. What roughly translates to he says he's a divine mage. He's he basically mm. says he's a he's a combat caster. Oh great bummer. Get out of here. I'm a divine mage, combat caster. He heals and hurts. I heal. Alright, both of those. Can you me. heal hunger? <clears throat> you know? Why not? Right? It makes sense, right? Oh, you get to zero hit points because you're starved. Okay. I cast cure wounds. Well, I guess it's like drowning. You can't cast cure wounds on someone who's drowning, right? Mm. Or suffocating, I guess, from drowning. You can probably until you run out of the spell. So we stay a night, another night, mm -hmm. or I guess another, another day one. of sleeping. Another one. Another one. Are we seriously? Oh wait, what did we say we're going to stay for? We didn't. Oh uh, yeah, we, we didn't. We started yeah, that, chewing a scorpion in my that's face the when thing. I asked. You guys haven't said how long you're going to stay. Kabar's idea is we stay until we have about four days of water left, right? Correct. I like that idea. Because that's our limiting factor right now. You stay until you die. Basically. Yeah. And then we'll come back to life. Or, because... You know, come back. <laughs> uh, we, we play a different campaign. 
We can, we can. No, we, we play the same people except we'll be undead. I know it'll be a different campaign. We'll play the other side of it. That'd be great. As long as I can reroll stats. We'll play the other side. The other oh, side. I know. It'll be the same game except we'd all be undead versions of ourselves. I could have just cast Prestidigitation and like made pretend food. And be like, oh shit, yeah, you, you make it. But it still doesn't work because you can't do that. Nope, he's going to try to eat it, and then it's a horrible prank. That's a good idea. I'm going to do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're going to do that? Yeah, I'm going to cast Prestidigitation <clears throat> All right. to, to make some, uh, <clears throat> some fresh fruit and hand it to him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, as soon as he reaches out for it, I'll make it disappear. Okay. He kind of he kind of looks at you and he says and he kind of nods and then he begins casting a spell and he creates some fruit. Are you shitting? And he hands me? it to you. No, so it and it disappears. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I give him a very very big smile. <laughs> and Kabar's not in on this whole thing, so I get very excited. <laughs> we can both make fruit. fake food and then get extremely disappointed. When it both disappears. Yeah. <laughs> that was cruel, Renleth. <laughs> and yeah. unnecessary. Yeah. Huh. Whoa. I just thought of something else. No, I don't want to work. Renleth has a cell phone? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Did that just call for Pizza Hut. So, um, what year is it? Why can't you just do it? Yeah, just get some dominoes. Sending sons of pizza. You guys didn't buy one of those. Oh, God. I knew we shouldn't have gotten that plate now. Or whatever it is he has. So I have... It's kind of a technical question, I guess. And I imagine I'm talking with Joe. Joe, uh, I have an outside chance in the spell book that I acquired. There, There is reference to a spell... Loosely translated to Phantom Steed. And it's essentially a magical horse that can travel 13 miles before it disappears. Mm -hmm. How close do you think that might get to somewhere habitable? 13 miles? That's like... Yeah. yeah, it's like three hours yeah, it's, of travel. It's, by it's, it's that thirteen region. miles in an in an hour. Mm. You're over a hundred miles from civilization. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it took us like five days to get here. Not very far. Not great. Not I walked thirteen far. miles to find the four scorpions that I brought back. Well, I mean, another another option to. Is we get enough scorpions, we'll tie them together, and ride them out of here. We might be able to find something in the temple. To find what? Oh, in the temple? Something that consumable. That's a crappy spell. One it's, hour to travel thirteen miles. Fucking terrible. It's a third level spell. Yeah. Who in their right mind would take that? So it's a ritual. So, outside of a scroll, you could cast it ten minutes. Cast the spell, stop, cast it again, ten minutes. Sure, for your whole party and just stagger it and hate your life as a sort as a as a wizard. That would suck. Why is that an hour long spell for three? Uh, well, I guess if you did much more than that, it would kind of be OP, so they just What's error. it called? Phantom, Phantom Steed. Steed. But for a third level spell that seems really bad. Can you, can you write it like as a horse in battle? Here, you can. Yeah. It's not a concentration spell. No. It's just this guy there until you say it's not there anymore. Kabar, what I was just discussing with Joe was the idea of going back in the temple, engaging in maybe a few more battles, and seeing if we can find something in the way of consumables. Whether it's water, if it's water and we need to clean it, I can't clean it magically, but our lovely 
friend here might be able to. Otherwise, we can just boil it. Ten miles an hour is not very. Well, that's pretty fast, I guess. But thirteen miles in in an hour is pretty good. Yeah. And if you were a wizard, and you could just do it over and over again, you could travel like a hundred miles in a day. Shadow facts. <laughs> the Lord of the Horses, <laughs> come to my aid. <laughs> Yeah, I've been itching to get back in there. I say we do that. So we're looking for something in there? Something to drink, mostly. We were in there, though. We didn't see anything. Except that weird potion stuff. We didn't go into every room, though. But we weren't looking for water. But we went in every room except for the one full of zombies. No, there zombies. was like a... Wasn't there like a whole section we didn't go in? I think so. The one full of mummies. Let's go kill the mummies. It was labeled by our mummy. What about sure there? Everyone said don't go in the mummy room. Yeah. Alright, we need you to build the temple back up. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll wait while you set that back up for it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> We're not going back in. We're going back in. Oh, when a boulder falls on over the entrance and you're stuck outside. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, there's a thousand mummies standing at the doorway, all with guns. <laughs> guns! <laughs> so is there a chance? Actually, let me, uh... It's so... With, as much as we've seen at the temple, mm -hmm. thinking back on it, mm -hmm. would we feel pretty sure that we wouldn't find sources of sustenance like water and food? Or... So, that temple is super ancient. Yeah. So, if you found any food, it's going to be rancid at the best. Right. We did find a dinner table. If you, if you find, and there was no edible food on it, there was, I mean, it was just yeah. utensils. Um, the, I mean, the kitchen, the kitchen area had no food. Um, <coughs> the only liquid you found was that magical um, font of sticky stuff that made everything wow. numb. Even the potion bottles you found were mostly dried up. Hmm. So, unless it's some sort of natural wellspring that's like dripped into the, <coughs> into the temple, uh, which you've found absolutely no indication of so far, uh, and since it's directly below you where it's just desert, uh, we can't drink blood. highly unlikely that you're going to find any Who's water blood? in there. Unless it's some sort that, of magical water. That mm. the the crucible. The mm. Fucking thing that just bled. Oh yeah. Why can't we drink blood? You We're omnivores. This guy's half orc. Well, I think the main reason We don't drink blood. <laughs> we practically drink blood. Did you ever see anyone cook food in your camp? <laughs> um, no. Admittedly, <laughs> no. They also drink water. Right? I'm not saying water is not drink water, water, yes. Occasionally. I mean, you can't drink blood for the same reason you cannot drink the urine. You can't? No, it's two different reasons. Urine is waste product. Blood is transferring minerals and, like, health. Also transferring unhealth. It's a weird two-way... Is this based off of Sources. things that you're making up? <laughs> no. I trust your judgment in, in these sorts of survival situations, but what you're saying makes very little sense to me. <coughs> Drinking blood? Yeah. I don't even know why we're talking about it. You brought it up. Just by yeah, it was looking just... at the map, I'm 95% certain there's no water you're going to find in the drink. If well, there blood are, is the life force of the body. Why well, wouldn't it be drinkable? While well, they're arguing, I'm going to try and climb to the top of the obelisk. <laughs> that I'm just going to drink wine. I brought... Wow. <laughs> Alright. To the top of the obelisk we go. <laughs> He has to pull up a battle map for this. Good job. Uh oh. 
messed up there. Roll for initiative. Of gun darts. I don't like the way you're pointing at me. <laughs> you die. <laughs> so, let's see. The obelisk is... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, about 35 feet high, according to that. Do you want to use those the rope and pittance that you have? Or are you just trying to gather is it, it? I'm, I'm assuming it's not, like, just smooth, right? It... <coughs> Sand eroded. Yeah, it's sand or blocks, blocks, right? Yeah. It's he's made, built with blocks. No, it's solid. Obelisks are all solid. Yeah, obelisks are insane. They're uh, yeah, they're they're carved from a single thing of rock. Oh damn! So there are grooves because but, of aliens, obviously. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> there are grooves in it, but it's aliens. pretty windswept, so it's fairly smooth. So they're not like it's super grip strength if you're gonna be do if you're gonna be scaling it. I have an idea. It's like finger strength. Watch, so watch this. If you're, if you're an accomplished uh, climber, maybe. I'm very accomplished. I'll do a combination of rope, freehand. You know. Okay. Taylor Mice, you have BHB again, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that, uh, kinetics that are complicated. Alright. All of my things do things. Well, all the things, things do things. But it's all in one book. Uh. Once you start getting to the Xanathars and stuff. And... That's a eight. Oh, I don't know. None of my stuff eight. is in there. I have a plus oh. seven. <laughs> I have a plus seven to athletics. I this rolled a, a one. So, Ooh, boy, you basically just slide back. You don't even really get started. We're supposed to be conserving energy. <laughs> what are you doing? In the middle of the night, Gar is starting to <laughs> scramble up and smith these of stone as we're <laughs> <trying. laughs> going crazy. It's the werewolf in him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to the top of this tin obelisk before we leave. It's like, the last thing we do. It's like that ant fungus that makes you climb up something tall before you die. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get closer to the moon. <laughs> so, unless you, like, try to hammer pitons into it, or you can get the rope lassoed to the very top of it, the DC's gonna be, like, 18. You can do that. Keep trying. Yeah. It's the worst thing can happen. Okay, I guess I'll... I guess I'll use pitons. A pity. So then, to use pittons, you've got to be able to hammer the pitton into this hard wood or hard stone, and the stone is harder than like average. So it's going to be a serious amount of effort to get these pittons in there. Yeah, what else am I going to do? <laughs> Not Start spend all your energy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I? You already consumed ten times. Lasso <laughs> the food and water. Can I? Value. Oh. What if I did the rope around it and then did the whole walk shimmy thing up of it? Ah, uh, like I'll make a man out of you. Yeah, the line is the word. Like, I that, cl like that classic <laughs> Disney movie. I'll make a man out of you. <laughs> so you, because it gets uh, thinner, you've got to uh, get the rope around it. Mm -hmm. And then you've got to make sure you continually pull the rope tighter as you go up. Right. <laughs> uh-huh. Kabar's very aware of this. And you have to hope that it doesn't get caught in a groove to where it then just kind of sits <laughs> there and you're, you're just kind of there. So, um, that'll be a use rope check plus a DC, I don't know, a 14 athletics check. What's it? A use rope check? Use rope will be intelligence. Oh, shit. Hmm. And that'll be a DC uh, 12. Uh, Alright. So I'll do the rope check first. Mm -hmm. 12. Okay. 
So you figure out how to maneuver that rope up. Now, if you can uh, use the skill of your own body to pull yourself up. What's Esther Carr doing this whole time? <laughs> Watching you. <laughs> this right. guy's awake for 20 hours a day. <laughs> I'm sitting next to Esther, Esther Carr. Holy shit, guys. We've formed a bond now. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. So you slide back down after you thought you had this great idea, and you so you start to start to pull. Yeah, I'm sitting next to you. Even then, just three of us sitting next to each other. You just kind of walk in this <laughs> place for a while and then slide back down, thinking, "Wow, it's a little right." I have the drift globe up so we can see better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting mad. Hey, send the drift globe to the top. See if there's anything up there. Can you do that? This goddamn um, obelisk. Let's just keep learning about these random things that we have. Oh, this is too hilarious. I'm gonna try again. Yeah, sure. I can make it go uh, 60 feet away. So I'll sit in the drift club up to the top. Yeah, I'm gonna do primal motor awareness. Are there any beasts around me? Uh, there are not. Well, just the horses. How many? Three. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> We've been so followed by an invisible horse. Esther Carr walks up to you, Kabar, kind of looks at you, smirks, looks back up at the obelisk, says a word, and teleports to the top. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to cast a, a spell and fly up there. <laughs> Do I know? Any, have I learned any curse words of his language yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> But you know some elvish curse words, I believe. Uh, okay. I'll oh, <laughs> scream those. I scream obscenities and kick sand. I'm so glad he knew that spell. <laughs> huh. I'm gonna clap. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Yours is actually the universal symbol for congratulations thousands of years ago. Oh. He's all, thank you, thank you. God damn it. All right. Are we doing this real time? Is that what we're just still sitting here? No. <laughs> you guys are just doing stuff, so you can't just... Yeah, 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 you're fine. Just uh -huh. dicking around. All right, so the 24th, we decided to stay a night. So now... No, that was the first night. <clears throat> then we decided to eat and hang out. And then we stayed another night, so it's the 25th. Wait, we're level six or Seven. 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 Interesting. <laughs> uh, I mean, we're level seven. <laughs> yeah. What happened to Renlath? These are really good at what we do. Um. Okay. I'm once again happy because next level I do something cool. Okay, so you guys just sleep it off and go to the 25th? Yeah. yeah. So you guys uh, sleep during the day? Stay up during the night? Mr. Car's still on top of the obelisk. I sleep some during the night. <laughs> Guess he'll come back down. <laughs> and he loses control of the balls. <laughs> no, he's just a spell again. He's not gonna jump. <laughs> The key to the whole thing dies in a horrible climbing accident to show off in front of Kabar. Once again, you're the cause of the end of the world. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Smug jerk. Alright, we stayed another night. <clears throat> Spirits are high. Hoping nothing happens. Learning to play cards. The horses are starting to look pretty bad. They're, they have gone a couple days without food now. Be quiet on this side, don't care. If only one of us did good berries, everything would be okay. <laughs> Can I have your uh, Wi-Fi password again? Um, yes. Capital C. Zero. No. W. Dollar sign. Mm -hmm. Zero. Seven. Two. One. Two. Zero. One. Two. 
I try to feed the horse horses uh, some of my ration. Hey, I could talk to the horses ish. They kind of nibble at it, trying to at least some of the hard tack parts of it. It's kind of similar to what we eat, just with more gunk in it. It's yeah. not quite as good as what they are used to. Yeah. It helps a little bit. Probably just makes them more hungry, though. That's not how food works. <laughs> <laughs> Temporarily pulls them out of starvation. Though. I want to uh, try to communicate with the horses. Okay. I don't like these. <laughs> yeah, it takes like 25 though to figure it out, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're really weird. <laughs> I'm still on the fence on them. Yeah. How many have you eaten? Yeah, you eat like 25. You gotta eat a lot of them. So like, I haven't eaten 25 yet. Yeah. I need worse and worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, like the whole time I'm like, man, I just want real cheese puffs. Or real tomato soup. <laughs> they're pretty weird. But that's why I had to get them, because they're so weird. If I kill Kabar, does that give me enough experience points to level up? <laughs> no. <sighs> Kabar is worth zero XP. My mate chain's gonna be invisible. Okay. That just means I'll never believe you have it. I, I could also make it visible. Oh. Yeah, okay. And I can use it as a bonus action. So their basic mood is they are agitated and hungry. Huh. And they're not happy. But they're not affected by magic of any. Uh, but they do need food. I'm going to assume that takes me 12 hours. <laughs> that ability seems so useful right now. <laughs> I'm going to be great when I can use them as guard horses. So we can sleep all night. Okay. So you guys rest another night, I guess. Hoping something will change. Yep, again and again and again. Alright. Do I find any more scorpions? Um, I don't know. Give me a survival check. I also have some. 13. The Medusa snakes left over. Any animals? Okay. Wow. That's going to, that's going to take a pit so we could fight scorpions in a giant sand pit. Oh. That would have been entertaining. <laughs> That's like one of my few war stories I remember from my dad's time in Saudi. They used to catch spiders and scorpions and fight them in pits. That sounds amazing, Dad. <laughs> so, on the day of the 26th, around dawn, when you guys are getting ready to go to bed... Dawn, we're waking up. No, Dawn, we're going to bed right now. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to outsmart you. <laughs> Exposed so much about me. And I beat you. <laughs> Good. Sorry. I'm sorry, DM. I'm so sorry. You hear some screeching from the sky. Oh, that's the only way eagles can fly. And is it dark? Or is it... It's like pre-dawn. So it's like semi... I mean, it's, it's light enough where you can see. Because the sun's coming up. I'm going to <clears throat> my drift globe. I say the magic word so that daylight comes from it. Hmm. Okay. it. <laughs> yeah, Scare away all the birds. <laughs> um, okay, I'll look up at the, the noise to see if I can figure out where it's coming from. Alright, give me a perception check. For the record, I do not look up. Okay. I sit back down. <laughs> Renlop is completely dejected when it comes to perceiving things. Because it never works. Perception is wisdom? Okay, never mind. Yes. 21. 21. You peer off into the distance and you can see 
up in the sky. The globe. <laughs> <laughs> up in the sky, you can see what appears to be a large bird, followed by three griffins or hippogriffs or something along that line. I see four birds. Okay. Three of them are misshapen. Okay. Is, it, <laughs> is anyone riding them? Riding the birds? Yeah. Are they like big <laughs> birds? <laughs> are they big birds? They're big birds. They look, they? they look like they're like medium sized or larger. Well, they look like about the size of like a hippogriff or a griffin. But no, no one's on any of them. Oh. Um, well, oh, they actually look like hippogriffs and griffins. And an eagle? Maybe, yeah. About the size of a hippogriff or griffin? No, smaller than that. Okay, so it's, the size. So the thing it. leading them is smaller than all of them, but it's it's Dang like a large. Man. It's like a large eagle. Hmm. Should Didn't you down? say Jonathan is a druid? I probably someone said something about. Yeah, we know he's a druid. <laughs> I heard that they can change to animals. Is that right? I'm casting mage armor on myself. <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm assuming that's something I would know as a wood elf who's lived with the woods. And, or the elves. I don't know if there's druids there. Oh, yeah. Esther Carr seems to mimic what you do. And cast a spell as well. I can cast a spell too. Don't waste them. <laughs> I, I got four. They last all day. I got six, actually. I cast sea invisibility. I know. Hmm. Is it true though? Druid, can druids shape shift that, into is that common knowledge? Animals? It's fairly common. Yeah. There's a rumor that druids can do crazy nature stuff, including making themselves look like animals and controlling animals and calling down the weather elements and and I mean I'm raging too, right? Like that's something and I should... walking through plants and becoming one with nature. Yeah, they're pretty much a weak ranger. <laughs> Oh, I've heard that before. Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't Mostly it odd? Like rangers. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like rangers that can cast more spells that are more useful. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ! I hope they're on our side. <laughs> Holy shit! No, you're listen. drunk. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for that one. You're writing that one, Gilbert. Now it seems like a good time to cast Phantom Steed. <laughs> Deuces. Yeah, because you'll be able to outrun those. <laughs> like a, probably like an 80 fly speed. I have so many different yeah. spells. This one's not even gripping it, it's not even painted. Joe, is this, a, is this a normal habitat for these? This is not a normal habitat for anything except for the 10 scorpions I killed, which were endangered, and now there are no more scorpions in this habitat. No longer endangered, though. It's true. I saw that. Yeah. But, um, uh, I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm a, I know more about, like, natural beasts than unnatural beasts. Unnatural beasts. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, Daniel, but this would be, like, outside my reign of yeah, these are not expertise. Are... Yeah. They're not real. These are mythical creatures. Don't worry about that. Fiends? These aren't fiends. There's something though. <clears throat> no, this is no. I know about eagles and I know about lions and I know about the <coughs> other parts of these things. Uh, this is not a natural environment for eagles though. <laughs> I correct me if I'm wrong there. No, you're not wrong. I'm um, pretty sure this isn't a natural environment for anything. This is not a. This, yeah, this is not. So a what, what are they about? <clears throat> 60 feet away from us? Something like that. They look like they're basically, they're, they're higher up because they're in the, the air, but they basically look like they're beeline for you. Hmm. And they're slowing down and coming down. So this is either helpful or super threatening. Either Maybe. way, we don't... Well, they don't look like they're all zeroed in on your horses. So that's that's at least a benefit from the last time you guys encountered griffins. We We're expecting them. someone and there is literally no reason for these creatures to be in this desert. Right, exactly. So, I mean, this is... We should probably lay out our best dried snacks. So these are actually all hippogriffs, they're not water. griffins. And they land on the ground a little further away. I make a, before they get too close, I make kind of a hand gesture to um, I'm guessing you guys can Estricar. 
to hold off just a bit. Mm -hmm. he, he's, he was getting ready to, like, defend himself, right? That's right. Well, he, he's just been, he just mimicked what uh, Renlop did. Yeah, I'll, I, will sen I will sense that, and I'll just go like this. It's fine, I'm sure. So, Everything's uh, fine. The, uh, eagle, the eagle lands and shifts in two. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. <clears throat> oh, thank God you're not really a beast. Jonathan? Mm -hmm. Hi, my name's Jonathan. And he kind of runs up to you. So, uh, I think you're the people that I'm supposed to be helping out, but uh, I think you could probably help me out real quick right now, if you don't mind. Um, sure. We're yeah. kind of being followed by a rock. Oh. Oh. What kind of rock? A big one that probably wants to take and eat all of us. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we can take care of that. What's a rock? Wait, what's it's, a rock? It's the, do you remember the potato that you drew? Yes. It's just like that, except it eats you. Uh, so not exactly, it's a giant flying I'm bird. I'm still processing that. And um, it's probably going to be here at any moment because it's faster than us, and I think I only managed to dissuade it somewhat from following us, but I didn't want to get into a full confrontation uh, because Pretty sure it's going to eat my hippogriffs in one shot. Um, so my hippogriffs are going to take off. Uh, yeah. So they actually have some way of uh, escaping. Escaping, assuming that this thing doesn't kill us. Uh, so nice to meet you. My name's Jonathan. Um, I'm a druid, and uh, we've got yeah. problems. Let's do this. Oh my gosh! Another bird. Fireball. This is. <laughs> Fire the beast. Fire the beast. Red fireball. Fireball. Fire is not a beast. potato. Rangers are the worst. <laughs> Unless you're doing an underdark game, and then you can do like all underdark type stuff. Rangers are the worst. <laughs> no, you're saying this out loud. <laughs> 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 Why do I even care? I have no beef with you, Rock. <laughs> hmm. All right. So, uh, the, the rock starts pummeling, or uh, flying through the air, and plummeting down to attack, um, seeing that you're becoming aggressive towards it, and preparing to defend it, decides it's going to try to take you out first. Defend? <laughs> Guys, I know it's weakness. Oh, us out first. Okay. The best defense is offense. Oh, that kind of rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's weakness as paper. I thought this guy was just kooky. No. <laughs> <laughs> like his character flaw is anything he doesn't understand. He refers to it as a rock. <laughs> he doesn't say thing. Nope. He was uh, serious. Okie dokie. <laughs> Super. So yeah, I'm just gonna blow it up with fire. Alright. You can roll me some initiative. Damn it. Dimension door. Alright. Initiative is 13. Emma has a 13. So, are you number one? Joe and Kabar. Kabar. Oh, I'm sorry. Kabar rolled a 4. Go. Mm. Oh, I think I put this down. Oh, uh, wait. What's my initiative? Just my dex, huh? I need like a giant yeah, like sun face thing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right there. Ooh, oh, cool. seven, okay. Two. Yeah, yeah. So nine. <clears throat> nine. These are some amazing initiatives. Uh, yeah. Ringlet, you're actually number one. <laughs> Naturally, <laughs> it's being fireballed. Okay. <clears throat> You think you can kill it with fireball. Uh, what's the range on your fireball? 150 feet. Okay, you're fine. Wow. Fireball's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a good roll. Ouch. So what are we at? That's a lot of ones. 5, 10, 15, uh, 25, 30. 35, 45, 50. That's 12 inches. Uh, that's 60 feet. 
Okay. Yes, that works. So, so 60 same. feet. So 60 feet. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 12 times 5 is 60. I'm confident in my 23 damage. <laughs> 23 damage, and I get to make a save versus fire. I rolled a 4. Dexterity, yeah. So I failed my save. So I take 27. 23. 23. It's lightly wounded. Okay. It um, seems barely nervous. Okay. As the ball of fire erupts around it. And I'm going to spend two sorcery points and do a quicken spell. Okay. <clears throat> In order to I'll just do a fire bolt. Okay. Oh ouch, that's not nice. You're our damage dealer. No, 11 to hit. Okay, that is a miss. Inspiration. Okay. I have to reroll my damage too, huh? Uh, no, I don't care. Cool, because I rolled 19. <laughs> nice. Alright, so that's a 19 to hit. That's a hit. 19. Almost the fire damage. Almost as much as my goddamn fireball. Oh. Well, once you once you shrivel away some of those feathers, like it's just fair, right? Flesh at that point, I guess. Is he on <laughs> feathers on fire? Or All something? right, it's still lightly wounded. It's a chicken. He's probably mad at me, guys. Please protect me. Uh, Jonathan unleashes a lightning bolt. That'll work. And it saves easily. Ooh! <laughs> Damn it, Jonathan! Rolls amazingly. Mm. Yeah, I need to get more d6s. I don't like these d6s. They always give me bad numbers. So that's 18, 19, 28, 29, uh, 34. So what is half of 34? 16? 18? 18. What? What was the half of 17? 17. 17? Is that rounded down? Yep. No, it's like exactly. Alright, the lightning bolt crackles into the rock as well. And now it is still lightly wounded. And now it barrels down. Oh, Can it fly geez. anymore? Does it? Is it bald? <laughs> <laughs> no, like I said, it's it, the damage. It's it's so big that the damage is like barely even noticing it. It's barely even noticing. It's a twenty foot ball of fire. It's a oh. gargantuan rock. Okay. All right. It's actually probably a small mini for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. That's not actually a rock. That's just a giant eagle. We don't have. I my wife told me that. We, we don't get our rock mini until next year. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. I was like, thanks. You're useless. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, so uh I don't have three painted griffins. Uh -huh. No, what are those all called? In flight, a rock's wingspan spreads two hundred feet or more. Holy How many? Two hundred feet or more wingspan. That's really big. Yeah. They normally that obelisk up. is 30 feet. Yeah. They normally it's pick up elephants and carry them away. It's like this big. Uh, <laughs> this thing's bigger than the obelisk. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I didn't have an actual mini, so... It probably, it's bigger than those dragons. Yeah. Uh, I cast friends. So it attacks uh, John with and I run away. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> you will love me. Goodbye. <laughs> and it hits him with a 31. Oh, Jonathan, we need you. 31. Oh, boy. We probably should have just gone into the temple. 
I don't know. But I don't think the... No, no. it would have made it... It probably would have collapsed it on us. Or it would have killed the griffins and he wants us... We're trying to get this guy to help us. And if his friends die... <clears throat> yeah, that's our ride out. And there's that too. It's a very big thing to Because also if we hit in there, he would have killed the horses too. Probably. It hits him for uh, 23 points of damage with the bite. Oh, that's fine. Uh, and then it oh, yeah. breaks oh, yeah. him with the talons. Oh, come on! And hits him with a 25. He's gonna die, like, instantly. Well, sadly, he was up front, not the bar. I mean, he would've been dead, too. He takes... 26 points of damage. Ooh. Holy shit. Nice baby, unconscious. Well, I don't know. He was he was biting with that paladin. He's now heavily wounded. Okay. Oh. And uh, he's now grappled by the talons. Oh, Are you shitting me? Nope. I doubt it. <laughs> Time. We share so much in common. <laughs> John fed. Jonathan, we need you.